Another day, another yawn. The wind is hitting me. Oh my god, it's so cool. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we're having some um, difficulties right now, mainly because it's below zero. <gasps> Hey guys, I was supposed to be vlogging this whole morning, but um, I couldn't because it was so cold out um, and I couldn't, oh my gosh, and I couldn't like use my phone. My hands were just so cold, but I had lab this morning. It was so cool. I learned how to do catheters. Um, I took my vital sign, competency, exam, um, what else? We learned like mobility and all that cool stuff. So it was a really good lab today that we did a case study and I volunteered, Ooh, I volunteered. And that was honestly one of the most scary things, but everyone always tells me in nursing school, you want to go outside your comfort zone. So I did, but with, anyways, um, what I'm doing now is I'm at the post office cause I had to return something back to Shan not for my haul, but for Ansley's birthday. And I just returned that. I have 45 minutes before work and I'm already in Hingham. That is called time anxiety. But I'm gonna get a coffee because I so desperately need one. And then probably just drive around or I might go park somewhere or I might go see my dog. Now that my parents are vaccinated, except they only have their first vaccine, so I'm still super like, skeptical to even see them so I don't know I might not go home we'll see but I also have to pick up my prescription from CVS but yeah today's kind of just like a chill day but today is the day in the life of a nursing student because I have a lot of stuff to do today for nursing so I thought you know what might be a good idea but yeah that's basically what today's vlog is all about um Either you are nursing or you might be nursing if you're like super interested in this or you might just be one of my best friends trying to support the channel. But I was going into my semester this semester and I wished so bad that somebody I knew like posted something like this so I could see kind of an insight into what a, a day looks like. But yeah, so far today, I just had clinical um, and got a lot more to do. So let's go get a coffee because that is very typical in the day of a life of a nursing student. Hi, sir. Does anyone see him? I'm sitting at this place in my town and. Um, I am at the point of the day where I typically crash and <laughs> it's very common, but I got a nice tea. I'm really upset because they put way too much sugar. I asked for two, they put three, but whatever, not a big deal. Um, yeah, I have so much time for babysitting, babysitting, and um, I'm going to watch TikTok because when I get to babysitting, I can't do that. But I'm gonna watch it right now because I'm really in the mood to watch TikTok. I like just, I keep dreaming about going to bed later. Like daydreaming about me getting in my bed and sleeping later and I'm so <laughs> excited. I'm so tired, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> okay guys, oh my gosh. I do not want to do anything, but I'm up. <laughs> I'm not babysitting and I look like I was shocked with electrocution but I'm not babysitting and I have a lot of stuff to do today I'm just so tired um, but I have to watch my lab video for tomorrow tomorrow is the um, abdominal health assessment I also have to watch my lecture video for tomorrow before lecture but I also need to get my prep use done for fundamentals and then get my prep use 
done for patho just so that i can review for before the test on friday which i'm low-key freaking out about but trying to remain calm but i'm gonna start with the videos just because i can watch those so i'm gonna do that and then i might move on to the prep you or i honestly might do it in the opposite order i don't know also, just a little tip, on days that I know I have a lot to do, um, I typically spread out my coffee intake or like my caffeine intake. So I had a small cup this morning and now I'm having an iced tea. Um, and then I think on my way home, I might grab a small coffee just because I have a lot to do like when I get home. But I also make sure that I eat like brain foods and stuff that's very like good for your energy just because every little bit helps so this morning i had an english muffin with peanut butter um on my break at lab i had the peanut butter dark chocolate um rx bar and then before i came here i had just um two little chicken or turkey and cheese roll-ups from the apartment and like I'll probably eat something here as well. I just get very lazy here and I don't feel like making food. But it's super important to eat healthy foods and foods that are going to keep you full because you want to get as much energy as possible. And if you don't eat the right foods or if you're not eating like foods that are um, good for you or the foods that will keep you full, then you're going to get so much more tired quicker. So like I said, every little bit helps and that is just my advice. And also tons of water, but that's just, that's common sense. Okay, I'm actually watching um, my 220 lecture video instead. So fun. Okay guys, I'm watching my abdominal assessment YouTube video and I just finished my, um, my fundamentals um prep you questions <laughs> um but okay bye but i actually got enough done until april 1st which is huge because i might be getting lasik eye surgery so i'm trying to do a bunch of homework that i can before that time just in case like i don't know i end up getting it but and now I'm gonna listen to this and then I'm gonna do prep you for patho. Okay guys, it's like 10 o'clock. I'm taking a quick break to shower, which is a huge deal. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm taking a quick break and then I'm gonna get back to it and I'm gonna do patho.